Hello and welcome. Today we are going to see how a real American barbecue is being made on a tiny island of Malta. So let's go. The slow smoking process of course starts with fresh meat and we have some nice chunks of beef brisket and huge chunks of pork loin on the trays in the smoker here. Here we have some mixed spices and a jug of mustard. Chef David is coming to prepare this meat for smoking. By rubbing the mustard in every inch of this meat, top part only, After that, he will put the spices on top and the spice is a mixture of ground red pepper mostly, but also salt, pepper and some other secret spices as well. Once this is done, the smoker will be closed and the next step is to light the fire. The little piggy is smoking and the smoking process has started. Since we need to check on this meat much much later, let's order some Philly cheesesteak and loaded fries in the meantime. Wow. Hey, he was good. Look at that view. Wow. Not only their barbecue is amazing, but the view here as well. Okay, so we have the view, we have the food. Let's dig in. Look at those bits of meat inside with some peppers, onion and spices. Let's go with the Philly steak. Wow. Small bits of steak with a sauce that was made with a lot of peppers, onions. Next destination on this incredible food journey, loaded fries. Mm. Mm. That smokiness and crunchy skin on the sausage. Such a good, good food. Mm. I don't know how they do it with the fries, but some of the best fries I ever tasted. All that cheese, the sausage also has cheese inside. Wow, the more the merrier. Food truck eat never fails. Okay, this was fast. My order is ready. This was a very fast service. Okay, thank you. Okay, so 
So inside we have honey mustard sauce and barbecue sauce and also Valeriano salad, which reminds on baby spinach, but it's a little bit different. And let's go with the first bite. The pork is so, so soft, so tender. Just look at those nice and juicy bits of this perfectly smoked pork meat. Cheesy fries are next. I think they're dipped into melted cheddar cheese with some pepper on it. Let's go. Mm. Wow. This have to be among the best fries I ever ate. I don't remember the last time I had a chance to try such a perfectly fried, sweet and tasty fries. After a long wait, here is the final product. Just look at these golden colored briskets. They look stunning. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. All the best.